In this video, I'm going to teach you how to practice like a WTA player. Hey guys, Alex here from Top Tennis Training and today I'm joined by Eden Silva. Now Eden is a WTA player, world top 300, British number 8 and former quarter finalist in Wimbledon in mixed doubles. happy to be here uh, hopefully can give you guys some good insight and some good tips on being on tour and to improve your game so keep watching so today we're training against 21 year old Sonne Kartal the big hitting Brit with a career high WTA ranking of 195 in the world she works hard and competes well so is the perfect practice partner At the start of a session, it's always better to start slow and work your way up to a higher tempo. You don't want to start hitting the ball at full power straight away. Get the feel and rhythm on your strokes first. Watch the ball closely onto your strings and space yourself accordingly. Before I do any more hitting, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button underneath this video. Balls are starting to fly faster now, so early preparation is key. Focusing on your breathing when you're hitting the shots is really important because it helps you stay loose and gives you better rhythm on your shots. Breathe in on your take back and exhale as you start your hit. That's why you'll often hear players grunting in matches. And don't hold that racket too tight, just enough so it doesn't slip out of your hand. You want easy power through racket head momentum, not through tension. When your opponent is sitting at a high tempo like this, it's so important to keep adjusting to every ball and not get stuck defending deep behind the baseline or get caught inside the court after you've moved in. Recognizing the short ball is key though, to put your body weight into the shot and take over the initiative as much as possible. If you do find yourself deep behind the baseline, get more shape on the ball by hitting it higher over the net to get depth and you can afford to flatten it out more when you step inside the court. I always like to focus on my timing. Being an aggressive player, I like to take the ball on and not let the ball drop. Uh, and I feel that if I do that well in practice, I find it easier to do in matches. At this point, things got tough. Eden likes to go forward and take the ball on, but it has to be done on the right shot. Sonne is hitting with quality, causing Eden to make some bad decisions stepping in on the wrong ball, leaving no time to adjust and her timing started to suffer. It was a good time to take a water break and reset. It's my job as a coach to get the player back on track as quickly as possible. Eden is simply playing too rushed and is starting to lose her form. My advice was to temporarily take an extra step back behind the baseline just so she can start feeling like she's got some time on the ball again. She can still move forward if there's a short ball but needs to recover back behind the baseline every time. Then to find her timing I want her to reduce her backswing a little so she can meet the ball out in front and then use her upper body rotation to finish the stroke and not jab at it with her arm. It's all about early preparation and it starts with the eyes. A common tendency when dealing with a fast ball is to throw a fast arm at it. This creates tension and changes your racket path which makes controlling the ball a lot more difficult. So Eden needs to think about a calm arm and use the upper body rotation, that shoulder moving through and that finish of the stroke all the way to the end. It was good to see Eden responding well to my advice and her level went back up.
Again, I reinforce that focus on shoulder rotation and finishing the stroke fully. Generally, women hit the ball a lot flatter with less angles compared to men, often choosing to hit through their opponent rather than outmaneuver them. You can really see how small the margins are at pro level and how important it is to trust your technique and how feeling and ball perception play a key role in your ability to maintain quality. Spin is really important on your ground strokes for consistency. On my backhand, I'm naturally a little bit more flatter with my hit, but I still try to use my left hand as much as I can uh, to create that cover over the ball and to make sure I can accelerate. If I get pulled out wide in practice, I try to recover back to the middle as best as I can to recreate the point situation. Always try to keep really light on your feet when you're moving forward and backwards or side to side as that will help you adjust better to the ball. That quick body turn and footwork adjustment is vital for playing at a high tempo. You can see Eden starting to get more comfortable with it now. When I practice, I try and focus on getting good depth on the ball because that will help me in matches and help me get a shorter ball so then I can attack. Notice the footwork and how light she's staying, always moving her feet, never still, making a split step every time her opponent hits the ball so she can prepare for it quickly. It was time to push things to the next level again and focus on getting behind the ball and when she can do it to step forward into the shot and transfer her hip and body weight into the ball generating a heavier shot for the opponent to handle. No more waiting for the ball. Well, hopefully this video shows you some areas you can work on even when hitting down the middle. It doesn't have to be complex, so challenge yourself and aim to improve with every drill that you do on court. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press the like button, share it with your friends, leave a comment under the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Keep watching for more videos to come.